Welcome to the director's cut of Christian Nutrition, the show where we review every single episode of VeggieTales chronologically. And by we, I mean just me. Mac Larry and the Stinky Cheese. <laughs> oh, sounds like the name of a story someone would write after I go to McDonald's and eat a Big Mac. Well, actually, this episode's called Mac Larry and the Stinky Cheese Battle, and it released in July of 2013. This title really screams that this episode will be silly, but hopefully not too silly, because I would hate it if they released it and a bunch of parents got angry about the title. Oh, this isn't, this isn't appropriate for my kids. And they rant on Facebook about it. Yeah, that would really suck. So I wrote that line, I shot it, and I'm recording this only if I go on Facebook and there's no angry comments about the title. So if you're seeing this, there wasn't any. I'm very upset with you, Christian parents. It, I expected more of you, honestly. Anyways, this sounds like this will be a Larry-centric episode, which is a positive, and hopefully there won't be much Junior. Hold on a second, I actually don't know if I hate Junior's episode. Give me, just hang on, let's do this. I uh, am pleased to announce that I I hate Junior this episode. All right. So with that in mind, let's review Mac Larry and the Stinky Cheese Battle. Oh, that's lovely. Takes me back to the rolling hills of my youth. Uh, hey guys, what's up? You know, they're having some sort of weird bonding time, Bob. I honestly would not interrupt. The scooter's teaching me how to play the bagpipes. It's like an instrument, only squishier. I squish harder. I squish harder, squish harder, squish harder. Why are you looking at me? I'm not going to comment on that. Larry, we have to start the show. Way ahead of you, Bob. Did you see the message from Scott Mitchell? Hey, is he Scottish? Probably. His name's Scott. Ah, that logic is impeccable. Is anyone out there named Richard? I like to play the piano, and my friends Justin and Sam like to play soccer. I'm not very good at soccer, and sometimes they tease me about it. Can you help me? No. I kid, I kid. Once upon a time, in a make-believe land where Scotland and Rome are right next to each other... Is VeggieTales actually being funny? Someone call the police because uh, I found the missing jokes in VeggieTales. The good ones, the funny ones, the ones I've been missing for a while. We found them. <laughs> call the police. Let them know. There live two friends, Chog Norius. I heard superheroes read Chug Norris comics. I heard at night the boogeyman checks under the bed for Chuck. I heard Chug Norris's reflection won't even look him in the eye. We learned that way back in the day, Scotland and Rome got into a pranking battle. You just got pranked. Pranked! Just got pranked. Yeah. That started out innocently enough, but eventually caused Mr. Lunt to become purple and Chog Norris to lose all of his hair. <sighs> Boy, that escalated quickly. I mean, that really got out of hand fast. It jumped up a notch. It did, didn't it? My son, McLary, is joining us today for yet another attempt to pass his initiation test. Eighth time's a charm. Uh, ninth. After three attempts, who really keeps count anymore, am I right? I mean, I lost count after three attempts of how many times it took to get my driver's license. We learned that Larry's father is actually Chog Norris. I heard when cops need cops, they call Chog Norris. And is in charge of the Scottish. We also learned that Larry is really bad at pranking, but really good at inventing, so no one actually appreciates he can invent typical this story is completely original has never been seen before by mankind never go ahead son this one's yours give him a bad haircut and you'll have earned your place among us that actually sounds super simple i'm sure there's no way larry can screw this up come on mech larry you can do this <laughs> 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 Well, maybe they aren't so different after all. I'm sorry, McLarry. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Larry has once again failed his tribe, or whatever they're called in Scotland, and he heads back home. Oh, counter attack! <laughs> <laughs> Just get to our side! <laughs> he got me! Chagnorius! 
Chognorious, his exploits ever glorious. Chognorious, Chognorious. I simply do not have enough memes for this song. The local Scottish kids then beg Larry to read them a book. He does this, but he also shows them some of his inventions that he got from this book. Watch this. What good is that? How do we prank the Romans with it? I told you to practice, and you're out here playing with toys! Sorry, Dad, I was just... Spending your time with worthless contraptions when we need your help on the front line! I blame myself, son. You're not a great barbarian because I haven't pushed you hard enough. I would say it's because you have yet to do a training montage. Don't worry, I can fix that. That's when you need to push yourself to the test and show us the passage of time. We're gonna need a montage. montage. Ooh, it takes a montage. Ah, now isn't that better? Oh, McLarry! Why'd you have to go and use one of your foolish contraptions? Ooh, my bad. I must have messed up the montage or something because we all know that a montage fixes everything. Larry decides enough is enough. He is going to find the famous inventor. Uh, I actually did not pay enough attention earlier to learn his name or to even tell you that there's an inventor. But yes, there is one that Larry admires. He's, he's played by Archibald, and I'm sure it will basically be Archibald playing himself, as it always is. Archibald is located in Greece, so Larry goes off on a journey to find him in Greece. Okay, gang. It's time to go. Adventure awaits. And now it's time for Silly Songs with Scottish Larry, the part of the show where Larry comes out and sings a silly Scottish song. Scottish Larry. Okay, VeggieTales, I'll give you one chance. One chance to prove that this isn't a terrible idea. We feel so smart in our red heart and Scottish kills. Technically, you stitch a quilt, but otherwise lovely. Oh my gosh, is that the best you've got? I'll have you know that's not in Scotland. I dance on stilts. Excuse me, sir. It's stitches quilts. What are you doing with a camera? I sing with simulated Northern Irish lil. Oh, <laughs> well, now that is interesting. We feel so smart in our green heart and Irish kilts. But this is a sky song. Tip, 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 yeah. Ooh. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Stitches quilts. American. I sing with ordinary oh, unaccented lips. Now ain't this the most rootin' tootin' honky tonk country song ever sang on Veggie Tales? We feel so smart in our star spangled sky Not the catchiest of tunes, but definitely one of the funniest ones. So uh two thumbs up. As we return back to our story, Larry somehow gets kidnapped by turnips. Don't even ask how it happens, it's really too embarrassing to explain. Mr. Lunt actually hires slash tricks Larry into making a super pranking weapon. Larry thinks making this will actually let him meet Archibald and he doesn't know he's making a super pranking weapon. Meanwhile, the Scottish devise a plan to steal some of the cheese of Antilla. Antilla? Antilla? I forgot. Long story short, Larry makes the super weapon, a weapon so devastating that even the Empire from Star Wars would fear it. Oh yes, Larry has outdone himself this time. It is the Bridge of Doom. Well, okay, it's just a normal bridge. Anyways, the Scottish get the stinky cheese and it is on like Donkey Kong. When he found out I wanted to use his bridge design for getting across the gorge to majorly prank the barbarians, he refused to build it. So I throw him in the dungeon. How could you do this to Larry? How could you do this to me? How could you do this to all of us? Ever since the tragic cheeseburger song, we have trusted you. You used to be a bad guy in episodes, but you became a good guy. A guy that we could all root for. Mr. Lunt, one of the best characters in VeggieTales, but now you're a bad guy again. Why? Why? But not all is lost. Larry designs a way to get out of the cage he's been put in, and he escapes, obviously. Ride like the wind, bullseye! Larry ends up running back into his dad, and we get another moment that is not anything like any other movie. No, no, no! Barbarians! The Romans are coming! Break out the water balloons! Now that's a good way to get your troops motivated for a battle. Now what if they had said that in Braveheart? Barbarians! The Romans are coming! Break out the water balloons! 
Oh yeah, that was much better than the original. This is the most epic battle ever put on screen. We can't take much more of this! The calories alone! My diet! I used to be a size six! It's time! Bring me the cheese! We end up witnessing what is the most horrific battle ever, saving Private Ryan, Hacksaw Ridge, Braveheart, all child's play in comparison to this. The stinky cheese battle is the greatest battle ever fought. We are all screwed. There is clearly only one cucumber that can save the day now. No hero quite like Larry Boy. Not quite, but close. Larry uses a lever and knocks the stinky cheese bomb to a place where it'll probably kill an entire school of fish. At a minimum. Oh well. <laughs> Hey, North Korea approves. <laughs> no barbarian ever risked himself like that for a Roman. You guys are all right. That's my son! Wow, that was resolved without much issue. I'm so sorry I refused to see it. Thanks to your inventiveness, we're all safe. I'm so proud of you. Thanks, Dad. Just repeat what I said earlier. Wow, that was resolved without much issue. I know we've had our differences. Maybe it's time for a fresh start, friend. What's all this silly pranking gotten us anyway? You just got pranked. Prank! Just got pranked. Yeah. And so what we have it! Who needs a disembodied group of acapellans when we've got everything we need right here? Ignore everything Scooter just said. Why is Bob dancing happily to the music? This is the biggest offense to a character since the last... Samurai. What did you think I was going to say? And we know that God's word is for everyone. And now that our song is done, we'll take a look. How is there any music playing right now? They blew into their bagpipes first, sure, so that's how music started. But as soon as they start singing, the bag bagpipes are not being played anymore. But there's still music being heard by us and being clearly because they're singing too. I am so confused. How do bagpipes work in this universe? Do you just blow once and that's the song? What the heck is going on around here? Look, excuse me. <laughs> and now Bob is beating the crap out of his, I'm sorry, I can't say this line straight. I'm trying to say that Bob is beating the crap out of his bagpipes, but it's, it's honestly, it's one of the funniest moments ever. What is Bob doing? He's just like going off screen, like just beating the crap out of his, his back. Types. I don't know. It's legitimately one of the funniest moments in VeggieTales, and it's probably probably was missed by most people, but it's is hilarious to imagine Bob going off screen. He's just being he's just like, wah, 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 we're gonna work back pipes. Bank pipes alone! That was Mac Larry and the Stinky Cheese Battle, and it was a marked improvement over the lackluster Little House That Stood episode. Is it the instant classic we're looking for? I don't think so, but it's a good episode nonetheless. It's definitely one I would watch again. Even better is uh, I don't recall seeing Junior at all, and I even checked the credits. I didn't see him there. I didn't see Lisa Vischer in the credits at all. So I'm not saying he was nowhere in the episode. He could have been in the background or something, but I don't recall seeing him at all. Very nice. Stay tuned as next time we're reviewing The Fennel Frontier, which I'm sure is not at all parodying Star Trek. Remember that God made you special and he loves you very much. Bye.